You know, the great Danish author, Isaac Denison, she wrote uh, Out of Africa, amongst other great tales. She said to be a human is to have a story. I think storytelling is one of the most human of things that we do each and every day because our lives are shaped by the stories that we tell, the stories that we hear, and certainly by the stories that other people tell about us. And as storytelling animals who hear and tell stories all the time, we all know how powerful storytelling can be, how a great story can get us to see things in our minds or get us to remember smells that we've had or tastes that we want to have again or get us to recall sounds that we've heard or when a story is told really well, it literally physically gets us to feel something. It gives us goosebumps. It makes the hairs in our neck stand up on end. That's the power of storytelling, and we witness that power each and every day. Storytelling's been around ever since we've been communicating with each other. Long before there was PowerPoint or websites, long before there were television shows or newspapers or movies, long before there was books or even written language or Facebook, there was storytelling. Stories have always been used by societies and civilizations and leaders of those societies and civilizations to pass down wisdom and values and knowledge and ideas from one generation to the next. And stories would engage us and entertain us, but while they engaged us and entertained us, they would enlighten us, they would teach us something. Like when you think about the parables in the Bible or the books that you read to your kids, they're entertaining and engaging those stories, but there's always a lesson, there's a, a moral to those stories, as it were. And I think when um, the internet first came out and became part of our daily lives. For those of us in the room who can remember life before the internet, you don't have to raise your hand. We all know who we are. But if you think about when the internet first came out and became part of our lives, it kind of pulled us away, detracted us from this social interconnected aspect of storytelling. Because we would go online to do somewhat solitary things like maybe check out a boat I'm thinking of buying or look at a stock price or book a plane ticket. But when you think about how the internet is used now more than anything, it's used as a platform for people to share their stories with other people. All of these things are just the tip of the iceberg, but all of these things are channels through which people share stories with other people. 